we're gonna get along just fine <laughs> so, so yeah truly 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 yeah. but, <laughs> so oh yeah <laughs> so mm -hmm. you said a lot of it's just it's for you it's personal that's the same with like developing all your games yes and things it, like that too yeah it's the idea is there's so there was always a story to tell in the different games that I that I started working on very slowly, of course, because you know I don't I don't have and have that kind of funding, but um, but again, as you know, as I mentioned, as things got more and more connected to my own self, and you know, and and that's the thing as a writer, you know, as a writer and a poet, you're taking a piece of you, but sometimes you don't realize how many pieces of you you're taking, and some and more so, sometimes you don't realize um, that you're even in pieces to begin with and when you do and so when you start creating these characters you start creating these worlds and these narratives you know for me there was something so much more happening um it was both cathartic and frightening at the same time and i never felt something like that before and but then again when life got in the way and and ultimately halted my entire well-being my entire existence it you know, the decision to come back and can really continue, we'll sort of start over, you know, kind of be a phoenix in a way and just like start over, but but also almost continue where I left off. Like, okay, I'm back here now. You know, what has happened and what are we going to do about it? And so, and but then most importantly, what is the reason why? And I think it's one of the most important questions that's not being asked and that needs to be asked. Why are we doing these things? What are the reasons for this? And for me, the reasons was it's personal and, um, and, and, and I got things to say, but you know, yeah. and as easy as it would be to just kind of, you know, name drop, you know, do, doing all these kinds of things, everyone has their own way of healing. For me, my healing is going to come through the, you know, these games to let others know you know your voice needs now to be recording as well so like your voice needs to be amplified as well and um this is how i did it and you know if that inspires you know my kid if that inspires other kids other adults other adults with kids whoever you know awesome i just need it to happen to one if it happens to one then let the rest keep on moving so Reminds me go. of, awesome. have you ever heard, mm -hmm. I forget what it is. It's like the uh, starfish like yeah. story where, you yeah. know, there's all the starfish and the mm -hmm. guy's like throwing them into back into the water. And mm -hmm. somebody mentions, you know, well, you're not gonna be able to save all of them. And he's like, yeah, but this mattered to this one. So I right. like that you have that feeling behind it because mm -hmm. that's something that I feel like is so unique. It's like the indie games field because all of these games are like, oh, I want to have like this big reach and I want to have, you know, fans and a cult following and, you know, all those things, which is super cool. Like I have that with Final Fantasy and like Puppet has it with like Pokemon and there's so many other games like that. But like that focus on really like wanting to personally like touch people and it like it doesn't matter like it matters more how it's taken rather than like right. the reach, I guess. Yeah. No, absolutely. Be, you know, because we could, we could, you know, you, you know, we, you know, there's a thing and I, and I take issue with this, you know, like, well, you know, what's someone's perception going to be mm -hmm. of what you say or how you say it or what you do. And I was like, you know what? F their perception, man. I'm like, this is my story. And like, and in, me and in mental health, one of the biggest rules we talk, one of the big fundamentals we talk about, you know, with me and my job in mental health is no one's, no one's traumas, no one's mental illness is, is, is better or worse than the other. We are all going through something and we are, and we need to be in the here and now with how we tackle what we're feeling at that moment. And so, you know, so for me, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's the focus on, I got to share this because I'm worth that. And, and it's not to be braggy, you know, it's, you know, it's to say, this is how I need to be able to tell this. Cause I, I don't, it, it, I don't have other ways. Like I have poetry, I have my music, but sometimes words 
and sounds are not enough. Sometimes I need both. And, yeah. you know, and the, and, and more importantly, it's who hears that message, who hears where I'm coming from and says, I want to help you bring this to life because I can't do this alone. I'm not a coder. I'm not an artist. I do sound. I do creative direction and I do story narration and I can, and I, and I'm a damn good leader with, with you know, with those who can, who are, who not just want to help me, but are reliable enough to stick around. And cause I can't do it alone. And, you know, you just yeah. want to have people not just hear you, but listen, which I think is a, which is a much bigger problem in, especially in the games industry, the amount of, the amount of artists, the amount of artists and designers you know, especially, you know, you know, females, um, you know, people of color, you know, and, and, you know, and, and, or just those who are just not being given that credence and there, and, you know, it's like, and we got in this to be able to share a part of us, you know, this isn't just, you know, this isn't something, at least in most cases, you know, where it's like, I'm just trying to, you know, I just want to make some good money off of this. Like, no, that's really, you know, most cases it's not the case. You know, we've got, you know, we're feeling things. We're feeling a lot of, lot of things. And, you know, and we, we, we need ways to be able to channel that. So I feel like I'm on this wacky tangent and I am so sorry. No, so. you are, you are <laughs> fine. I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. That's why, you know, when I said we had an outline, I'm like, it's loose. It's, I think we explained it yeah. where I'm like, I'm going to ask you some stuff. And then you're going to answer some stuff and then Matt's going to play some stuff and then we're going to ask you some stuff again. Uh, <laughs> so aside from being freaking awesome in mental health and don't you, correct me if I'm wrong, don't you also do a podcast? I do have a so podcast. Have to do with, with mental health? Yes. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's called above, above the flaw and it's been on, it's a live podcast. It's one of those rare live shows. Because I'm like, no, if we're gonna talk about it. We're talking about it live, and if you, you know, yeah. if you can't handle can't handle the live thing, you're here for that. Sorry. I I was I I've, I've been doing you know radio and internet radio for years prior to them calling it a podcast. I just I I laughed. That's like, oh wait, we gotta re you know just record it and edit it. Get <laughs> out of here! Like, no no no, let's go, let's go. You know, can't apo we can't keep apologizing. For the things that mean something to us you know like if we start if if it if it negatively hurts other people then yeah we need to, you know we got to make sure we own it and then do better but in this case yes the focus is it's a live podcast above the flaw it's on Podbean, but it's all you can also find it on spotify um i think even apple might have a little a few of my episodes but yeah spotify um iheart radio online um there's a bunch of it's just a bunch of places i can't even think of right now but um, in fact, I think Pandora, you can hear it on Pandora too. Anyway, point being is that the focus on Above the Flaw is mental empowerment in the arts. And it's very, it's, you know, it's all, every episode's unapologetic, you know, but it, there's good, but we're going to learn things and some, and there's going to be a lot of laughter. There's going to be some tears uh, and, you know, sometimes depending on how deep the topics go, but it's really beginning to call these things out um and but not just sit in that but discuss what do we do next from it what what what's the direction we go in because it's very easy to get caught up in that bubble of things mm -hmm. and sometimes we need that some you know so, you know sometimes we need that but for me it's like anything is like anything we talk about you know i, I say i'll use the example of poetry for example you know, when, you know, it's easy for a poet to write about a lot of dark stuff, a lot of sad stuff. But when I read a lot of these things, I say, what are you as the writer? What would you do about this now? Where, who, whether it's you or someone else you portrayed in this, where does it go from here? Because I feel like that, that, that part doesn't often get talked about. And, you know, cause sometimes the response is, I just want to sit in this and it's like, mm -hmm. okay, cool. But when do you sit in your self care again? You know, because yeah. if you could sit here, let's sit, you know, how about sitting here too? You know, give that side of it, you know, your attention to. So, yes. So that's what, that's what I talk about. And I've been, the show's been going on for a year and a half. Yeah. I think 16 Ooh. months. Yeah. About 16 months now. 
and just did a show in fact last week my my, my first um international guest from the from <gasps> Man manchester uk and it was a mind-blowing episode and and it just i mean never mind the fact that you know i had to do my show a little bit earlier and you know my guests were eight hours ahead of me mm -hmm. but we made it happen and it was live and it was real and it was just it was absolutely incredible but those are the kinds of things that i focus on on the podcast and i'm trying to unite not trying i am continuing to unite all of it into my games everything i do and so um yeah i'm fortunate to be here today to be given a new day to share it so speaking of or yeah, pouring stuff here. into your games yeah 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 first of all yeah insane <laughs> and i also you mentioned your podcast anniversary i think that's like really similar to ours yeah it's yeah i nice. don't remember what the actual day is puppet mike because she's in chat mm -hmm. but like i think it's just like it's a little bit over a year nice. not two years yet but you know yeah. it's and we do it live too it's something that you know you want people to see the genuine side of you and that's especially important with mental health because Absolutely. that's something that you know when we look at like vloggers and stuff like people who do like oh like that was like day in my life like i love those videos and i love that stuff but i end up looking at these like you know people who have like perfectly organized kitchens and like that's like what it looks like they do all day and i'm like i sat here crying on the couch eating ice cream so like where is that so right, i like right, that right. uh I like that realness. It's really important. And and <laughs> what you guys are, what you all are doing, I think it, it, you know, for for us indies, is is one of the most. I mean, I'm sure you've received a lot of gratitude from different indies. I mean, I, I, and which is wonderful. We just that type of connectivity, we we've desperately needed that. So yeah. the fact that so, so so to see what you all you all have been doing has been nothing short of eye catching and and you know and it's had me you know really perceptive and receptive to what you all are doing and it just it melts my heart to to see that to see that integrity is not dead and i and and that collaboration can continue to exist and thrive and, and you and you all are those those gardeners to to you know to this for us all and i mean and, and i mean i don't want to speak for all indie devs but i, I but I, I i think it's safe to say we really appreciate you all <laughs> like we really appreciate Aww. it so y'all keep doing what you're doing because we needed is especially with the amount of disconnect that continues to happen with the amount of deceit betrayal you know drama on social media the fo you know the amount of harassment going on you know with people who are just trying to tell a story and we're getting ridiculed we're getting manhandled we, you know for for any given any given petty reason not 5% of these things are valid of these issues are valid you know the, the other 95% is over theatrical drama and you know and and it's and it's extremely discouraging when we fought so hard to believe that we're worth creating a game that we're worth telling the story whether it's fun what you know heartbreaking you know reflective whatever the case so we need we need people like you more than ever to not just help us feel worth something but to keep, help keep us grounded so you are all playing a deeper impact than you know than maybe sometimes you realize but i but you i but i don't think after connecting with you all back at magwest you're not blind to what's happening so <laughs> so yeah <laughs> well thank you um i'm glad that at least we put on a show of like confidence i guess in what we're doing mm -hmm. but um <laughs> it's so funny i was just talking to puppet too about um something that like we've really prided ourselves on is finding genuine like devs and people who aren't just like scammy or spammy or like when all of the blockchain stuff was going around and everybody's like jumping in on like all of that stuff like at once or just doing things like 
so unauthentically. Like we want to find those people who need that support. And because we've seen that there is so much competition in the industry, so many people who are like getting like flooded with bad reviews for like one simple thing and things that can't get fixed automatically because they're one human being and it broke over Christmas and you know, all of these factors that we just, we want to find people that are human. And, yeah. you know, and I think, I think we do a pretty good job at that. Yep. I, I hope. I, <laughs> I, I, I think so. Yes. <laughs> I, we're going to go with yes. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure we do that. I should be a lot more confident in what we do, but mm -hmm. yes, yes, we are definitely, this is why we love to have people like you here and mm -hmm. you know, why we have the people that we do who help us do things because they are also freaking awesome and love <laughs> All these people True, uh, truly yes. yeah the feeling is mutual it's a lot of fun yeah. but we can't do it without you guys yeah it's Same. <laughs> I love it. okay I love it. before love it. before i get extra sappy look at me sitting here like making a little bird um <laughs> like is she is she yeah. evolving I'm oh. like, she's a pokemon i knew yeah <laughs> i'm just you know now i do have pokemon above me every mm. pokemon I no, I don't. But okay. <laughs> we were talking about games at some point. Yes. Uh, you yeah. know, ga games with heart in them and games by people who are actual real people. What's your portfolio on your games? What what you wow. got? So Crumple Episode One is my actual released title. Um, I recently released the trailer for Episode Two. Something I didn't really think was going to happen but it did and that was my that trailer was my first declaration that i'm back and and i'm gonna bring it stronger than i did even in episode one and you know then there are a few other games i'm slowly and surely working on one of them i also recently released a uh, announcement trailer for called the uh, project mahalia and you know and fun fact i'll share this now um Ooh. you know the character you see in crumple and the character you see in project mahalia are connected it's it takes place in the same universe and these two games are the intros to the bigger things that are coming soon and yeah so so these are not going to be individual games you know in its own right they can be but you know i i like connection in my stories when it comes to the characters i don't i feel we don't see enough of that yeah. um you know so yeah so that's so there's that there's also another game um that i've been finally reworking more and more called kinship kinship was actually the first game i started working on years ago and went through so many different hurdles but you can go to my youtube channel and you can see it there it's still there but it's it kind of went into hiding for a while but it's beginning i am beginning to work on bringing it back something a fresher less i don't want to say ambitious but you know smaller scale you know smaller scale game like less levels but you know but that's what that's why god invented sequels so so it's all good <laughs> so yeah there's quite a few going there's quite a few going on quite quite a few games going on right now there is also a fourth one that i just that, that i also had started a few some years back went into hiding and yeah more on that soon so that's all i can say on that right now it's been brought back from the dead and it's going to be lovely so yes but all connected Ooh. all connected we love those necromancer vibes look at you reviving things from the dead <laughs> yeah yeah very no. fitting <laughs> i think matt do you think it's time to a give a little yeah okay so you talked about crumple yes so we are going to be doing a little crumple playthrough as we chit and chat and look into the game as well. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what I start to hand stuff over to Matt. Oh, He's got the trailer. Please. No yeah. problem. Crumble, crumble. 
I'm still happy you even got this game working. Good oh, God. yeah. <laughs> okay, sweet. So Wait, two. you said it, it's a Flash game? Yeah, the game was made right? in Flash because that's what the programmer knew. And he, I'm like, okay, we're making it in Flash. I don't care. I need something. I, I, I want to have something made. Um, but I'm glad we did in, because we were able to – we pushed Flash – to its i mean limits that i didn't think we could oh, like i mean one one great example was not we, we were night i want to say 90 percent 92 percent even um through complete development of this game with and did not have controller support because we didn't think that was possible oh. our under our our understanding was you can't put controller support in a flash game but apparently you can, and he so he finds that he learns how to do it. Um, oh my god, <laughs> he learned how to do it, and he just hits me up like, "You're not gonna believe what I found out. Test this out." And then I'm like, "Oh my god, how did you do this?" So <laughs> like, he's like, "I hard coded information into the game." He's like, "And now it recognizes controller input." I was like, "What the shit?" That's I was, awesome. so it's like. Oh my god, it's like our keyboards are saved. Because <laughs> like, there's so many people who were testing it, smashing that damn space bar oh, to jump. No. I was like, oh my god, I like please don't <laughs> don't come after me with well. your broken space bars. I was like trying to like jump and shit. Oh man, so he did the he was able to achieve that. We were like, wow, okay, this is uh that was a massive, massive turning point in that game development. We were so I was so so happy. But then just being able to do a variety of other effects that I just didn't, we just didn't think we could do it. We did it. And yeah, so I'm great. Very, I'm eternally grateful. Shout out to my, to my guy, Alex, for he, he was an angel helping me in making this happen because it was just him and I. And then I had a, you know, I was fortunate to have a, you know, two other people help me work alongside me with music on the soundtrack. Cause there's a soundtrack for this game too. If you go on Bandcamp, there's a soundtrack for it. So yeah. So I feel much. like every time you talk, I hear something new that you've created. Yeah. yeah. That's you why know, I, I don't know if you know, I keep like raising oh. my eyebrows and shaking my head. I'm like, this is one person. Like, this is what drives me nuts. Like, I don't know how y'all do it. I Yeah. I feel like I need a whole team to like do my laundry and y'all are sitting out here <laughs> like developing a game on your own i i, I get it yeah i get it I super get it. humans all right we're gonna open it up here with the trailer before i start awesome. the gameplay awesome sounds great oh god the episode one story trailer yeah it was left in shambles torn tossed into raging fires as a rejected memory for simply trying to be different unintentionally torn it was created when humanity tried to shed its tortures to seal away its sadistic arrogance it was lost was afraid. It knew it needed to be free. It needed to fly. For it was being hunted, torn, crumpled. Jamming out to the soundtrack already. To... God, that brought back some. That man, that brought back some memories. Oh my god! I got the screen yeah. on you right now, Gabe. While I set things up. Oh, Gabe time! <laughs> Let's go. I, you know, I had planned this for the end, and I feel like you know, it, I feel like we've heard about like the twenty million things that you've done already. 
anything you want to plug while we're waiting, whether it's, oh. you know, life advice or uh, uh, something that you're working on, your cash app, I don't know. Oh my- <laughs> 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 I, I, I guess the, the first thing is Crumple Episode 1 is free on Game Jolt. And I got to give a shout out to Game Jolt because Game Jolt really one of the one of they were and I haven't talked. I mean, there's I think they still kind of secretly kind of pushing me along a little bit because something weird happened recently where I think I had an uh, I think I had a 450 percent uptick in followers on my Game Jolt page. And I, I think it almost nearly tripled in followers. Wow. And, and I'm like. What happened? Because all I did was put a post about the Crumple Episode 2 trailer. And and that's all I did. I said, here, you know, this is a thing that's happening. Don't know when. But yeah, within that the first week alone, over 450% uptick in that. And I just gotta be like, holy crap, Game Drill is still helping me, I think, behind the scenes. But the but where I was going with this was the day that the game the episode one was released, they featured me on the front page. They didn't have to do that. And I didn't even ask. And I was just like, oh my god. But they, they were connected with me, helping me get set up. And so they asked me, Oh, what 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 game are you working on? And I just all I did was tell them. But I guess they just liked it so much that you know they they liked the character so much and they're in all of a sudden I see my I see my game listed and featured in the front page like on their background of the website I was like I was in tears because that was the beginning of my life going completely sideways and seeing that made it so much more so much sweeter than bitter and it, it was just incredible to to see that and so really with that i say you know whatever you know to everyone involved in the arts i you know i say be unapologetic in your message to in your message with whatever you create but never forget to stop and 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 replenish you take care of you you cannot continue to be the best for others if you can't be the best for you first it is not selfish it is selfless i don't care what people say if you surround yourself by people who are focused on being right rather than rather than wanting to learn more about you and you you know and learning what make what made things right for you wrong for you and just learning about one another cut them out you don't need it surround yourself with people who will disagree but also still respect you at the end of the day who will still show you kindness and care at the end of the day because it's no more about being right because we need we need that connection more than ever so you know um, I'm not on as much social media as I used to be. And I'm honestly, I'm really glad for that. My blood pressure is very grateful for that too. <laughs> I, so I will definitely say, if you want to find me, the first and foremost place you're going to go is my website. So novrain.art. So N-O-V-R-E-I-G-N dot art. That is my November rain site. That's where you go first and foremost. Yes, I have a little, in my little YouTube channel, as, as y'all saw, you can definitely subscribe and I would love to hear comments and feedback on there as well. Um, and I'll be holding on to that. Um, but, you know, my soundtracks, my current one is on Bandcamp. Um, I can't tell you offhand what the link is, but I have a Bandcamp and the soundtrack is there and there will be more incoming soon. And we already talked about the podcast. So, yeah. So many plugs, so little time. I'm. I know. I'm like, there's we're, just so much for you. You, you still got more time. I'm. I'm already okay. now on set, ready to go. So you don't have to do all the stuff quite yet. <laughs> cool. I know. I was sitting there and I was like, I was like, are we giving Matt enough time? And then like you just like kept going. I'm like, oh yeah, no, Matt's got time. <laughs> like if Matt, Matt's got to have it figured out by now. All right. Oh no. <gasps> Oh wait! Game. Did we bully? Did we bully you away? I think what happened? I'm here. <laughs> oh no! 
I don't know what happened. It just like kicked me out. I'm here. <laughs> oh, can you open up your video again? Uh, let's see. We'll call it. Uh, let me see. Let's let's hope that doesn't kick you out. I don't think it kicked him out. I mean, he's still here. No, it, it just needs. I'm still here. Just video's yeah. not showing. Yeah. That's on your end. There we Do go. You know to... Oh, there we go. Do we know how to turn down the volume in this game? Yes. Oh, yep. Perfect. Yeah. Well, there we go. well, here's the thing too. It, you you won't actually the first the first half of the game. You you there's no actual music. It's just oh no no just... not the not the music. The music's fine. Oh. It was just the overall volume. That's what I meant. Oh oh oh, oh okay. Right okay, now okay, the uh, the fire. You. If if I have it at full blast, the fire. You're gonna hear that over your <laughs> everyone talking. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Well, maybe I want that. <laughs> maybe I want the little, little fire base in my we'll voice. We'll just have us, like, drowned out in, like, the uh, the sounds of everything. Right. <laughs> All right. So maybe you should we'll let them know how tough this game is to be able to get. Yes. Yeah, I, will, I, I will be happy to talk about how tough this game can be. Yes, it definitely can be. Um, but again, it was one of those things, of, you know, with making this game in flash and like and it, god this is so weird that i'm watching this i haven't watched this and i haven't even wow this is so cool so i just didn't think five years later i'd still be talking about this game this is just really so yeah f forgive me if i get all like Whoo, this is just crazy but um yeah this is oh. all this is just it's a challenging game it is a you know, and my and I did a lot to make sure my programmer behaved himself because he really wanted to make this even more difficult than it already is. And I said, "You need to stop." And we are not trying to ruin the five people that have pre-ordered my game and just you know and have like a bunch of one-star reviews. I'm like, do you know how hard I worked for the you know for these pre-orders? And you know, I say five, and I gotta actually give a shout out to um because I I. I, I don't remember the, the full full story so I, I won't get into all the details because I, again I don't remember all of it but there was a point that um, I ultimately ended up connecting with Humble Bundle through their widget to be able to set up a pre-ordering through them and yeah I mean I was able to you know I was able to get my first I think 50 people to like pre-order the game and the game was two bucks two bucks a pop um, and just it was it was just great to see that kind of support. I, I to this day I have no idea how many of them actually beat the game, <laughs> beat the first episode, but it, it's all it, it's all good either way. But um, but yeah, this game is um, you know for those new to see you know those seeing this for the first time, um, as you see here, this game is about envy, short for envelope because it is an envelope. Many have said just a piece of paper. Yes, it is made of paper, but it is actually an envelope, and its name is N V E N V E. So yeah, short for envelope. And the idea is Envy wakes up in this paper factory, burning to the ground, you know, slowly and surely. And you just gotta keep moving. That's it. As you're going through this, the you know it. This was really important for me. Was you know the why's why why you know why did Envy end up in here? Why is Envy in here? How did it end up getting in here? You know, why is this place burning to the ground? What What's going on? And so, you know, so yeah, so the, that's ultimately the, the, the premise of, um, you know, of this. And originally the game wasn't going to be, the, it was just going to be one game. Like just like one game, that's it. Um, also, the game wasn't going to be in these sections. It was just going to be one big long level, but because Flash, you know, and it's awful limitations, um, you know, we had to figure out, we we had, we spent time figuring out, well, how are we going to address this? You know, like, I know how many levels I want and, you know, how it's going to end, all that stuff, but how do we, you know, partition that in, you know, this very resource, you know, hungry, you know, thing called Flash. So we did it off, we did it in the sections, and then I said, you know, why don't we do it as an episode? And at the time, Episodic Games, because remember, you're talking, this game came out in 2017. Oh. Episodic Games were just like... One second. What? Like, look, look at this. The Metroid part. I just want to be... Yes! Ready. Please just... <laughs> yes. Sorry to cut you off, game. No, 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 it's okay! 
Oh yeah, big important part. It, it's it's the fun of talking as you play the game is you get to like have those moments. Right. And there you oh. just saw and so there you just saw this goes back to with what I was just saying a few moments ago. So now you just saw this big thing drop and you're like, oh, what was that? Oh, it was just a rock. Oh wait a minute. It opened an eyeball. The rock has an eyeball. What the shit? So, valid questions. <laughs> and but then it just disappeared. As you continue on, you're gonna find out more what the hell is going on. Um, but yeah, that is your first hint that there's something much more going on. And you just gotta, again, you just gotta keep moving. Because, fun fact, um, and I'm sure I know, yeah. uh, dear Matt, oh. found, this out, found this out the hard way, but every section is timed. There's no timer per se, but it's all behind the scenes. But because, but one thing I wanted to incorporate was because this factory is indeed on fire, every section, you know, you, you, you have catch, to keep, you got to yeah. keep moving through, or there's the fire. Spread. Yeah, the fire will catch up to you, and yeah, so you know, so of course, <laughs> that, that pissed off a few people. They're like, wait, 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 why is my screen changing colors? Wait, what's going on? Like, I don't under, and then they see you know, envy collapse or burn off or whatever. And you're like, uh, wait, why did that just happen? I'm like, oh yeah, there's a timer because there's a fire. And they're like, damn it with your logic. And they're like, stop doing that. <laughs> I, 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 it's like I had to put some kind of logic, but either way, it was fun. But, um, I love yeah, that. So like you don't show the timer either. Oh, like that no. feels. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> oh no, oh, you were okay. doing so good. No I mean, point. I mean, I mean, sorry you died. I'm just, I'm just like, <laughs> I was trying to get the perfect end. Games, I guess it's still hard. <laughs> you are doing so good. You were kicking ass, dude. I was like, bro. Did okay, you prepare right. for this? Did I you did beat, I did beat it the other year. <laughs> I was, game I was so proud. I was like, bro, you actually beat the game. I was like, crap, dude, that's fantastic. Because the oh, ending. That's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can do it the other way, but I get it. Oh, it's all right. it's so that was the most, the most important thing. It's like, you know, there's more than one way. <laughs> so more than one way to kind of hammer this out. But um, but the ending, and I'm really excited that hopefully you'll, 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 you'll get there. Um, is that's where the twist came into play and one of the big things for me in this game with the ending that even though because i feel like a lot of indies don't well i wouldn't i shouldn't even say indies i feel like a lot of story driven games don't do this right you know especially in episodic it's like if you're gonna end episodic you know please end it you know with enough substance to be like, okay, let's say I didn't get, I wasn't able to get any more resources to tell, you know, to keep telling the story. At least end it strong enough to where it's like, okay, you know, you know, like I'm, I'm good with this, or maybe I'm not happy with this, but damn, at least it makes sense. It's not like abstract, you know, it's like yeah. so abstract. So the end. You shouldn't need the sequel, but you should want a sequel. Right. Right. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah, it, it, it's, um, yeah, absolutely. So for me, it was, you know, you know, make this ending strong. What I did not expect was for the ending to be as personal as it became, because the, the ending to this game was really the my first sort of crying out of what was, what I was beginning to understand of what was happening to me personally. And um, I just, you know, I didn't expect it. I, I, yeah, I just didn't expect it, but it happened. And people who, those who got to the end were just like, oh my God, what just happened? Holy shit. So, ah, you've got flat, but anyway, good work. <laughs> uh... So, yeah. So, I mean, so that was really important for me as well, but good god man yeah like just seeing these machines you know getting all these oh. machines to move like to being able to do all that and flash like good god yes the smoke screen okay. so yes that that was yeah there we go had a field day with this fun fact you can wait for the smoke screen to disappear or you can 
crumple and it goes away immediately. Oh, that would be that. Take it. <laughs> no. No. Oh, I gotta at least. I gotta do it. It is this burning. Oh, eternal flame. But anyway, so. Sorry. I just. <laughs> but. <laughs> oh my goodness. So. Um, yeah, and for those watching, you know, um, you know, first of all, thank you for being here. Um, if, uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, you know, ask away in the chat. I'll be happy to answer whatever, whatever I can. So, um, you know, just good to have people here and, uh, oh God, the clips. <laughs> oh, dear. You see, there you go. Yeah. Oh. So I had a thing I wanted to say before Matt died, and we died because he died. Um, although, hold on, like, now I'm intrigued. I love the fact that you have a timer that you can't see with, like, the fire, and especially because I know, you know, so much of your games and what you do is around, like, mental illness and, like, awareness and stuff like that. Like that feels very much like you know that there is a time where you're going like where the fire is going to catch up, but you don't know when. And you know you need you know that you need to just keep going, but you don't necessarily know that like you know oh hey like I have like one day you know in two hours and forty three minutes to get all my shit together before I'm gonna have a breakdown. Like sadly, life oh, doesn't no. come with those timers. Yeah, right. Oh my goodness, dude, you're running out. Are you, you got oh! me? <laughs> oh my goodness! Ah, you did! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, dude! <laughs> I know. I'm getting the second oh. ending right now is getting a little bit harder now. Oh no! Like, oh my goodness, that's good. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, and by the way, by the way, you, you, um, let's see. You do know holding down and spacebar can drop you straight down, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. I just wanted to, just wanted to make I sure. I keep forgetting so. to do that, though. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I just wanted to make sure, because, I mean, I surprised you with the whole crumpling when yeah, you smoke you skin thing, so. so I feel <laughs> like now we need to, like, have Gabe do this after and, like, <laughs> do, like, a battle. Battle of the right. Gamer versus the Dev. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That that that's so funny. <laughs> that would be that would be quite funny. Um, oh goodness! Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. God, this little this little so puzzle well. part. So, uh, Autumn is asking if there's any other Easter eggs or hidden stuff in the background of the gate that he is stuck in. That is a fantastic question, especially for the section that Matt's in right now. So, Ooh. so as you see here, so yeah, he, so there's this puzzle, you know, so, you know, you know, kind of, a, you know, t you know, um, all about the wires and stuff like that. It, I don't think it's in this section, actually, I'm thinking about it, but no, not in this section, oh. but... In the late, oh boy. <laughs> okay. He just That's you. <laughs> but the idea with um just about every puzzle, I think except that one. Wow. Oh boy. Nah, so, wait. The, uh... <laughs> Hold on. Let, let, wait. Let us give. Let us give that some space for a minute. It's okay. It's yeah, no, okay. No, no problem. I just. Like, I just said it. No pressure. No pressure. Okay, no problem. You only have the dev watching you as you play. <laughs> you know, it's fine. I was like, no oh, pressure. Was... Oh my goodness. Yeah, but what I so back to answering the question was, um... oh, okay, I was gonna say like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, there oh, you go. There you go. Good work, man. <laughs> so the idea um, is that with every puzzle. There's a sort of good work. So there's a um, there's an escape route of sorts where if you just don't do it, don't do the puzzle, you can still get through the section. But it's a little it's a little vent. You gotta find the vent, and it's pretty close by. You know, maybe you know. But yeah, that's your way to uh, you know. But so like yeah, OG, you were Among Us before Among Us was a thing. <laughs> I can't, I can't. You heard it here, folks. Game created among us. <laughs> oh man! So royalties, but no, it's fine. It's totally fine. But like, I, yeah, that was one thing that that was important for me. Where it's like, well, what if someone gets stuck, you know, and 
and you know because the, the important thing for me was game just like game flow so it's like okay if they can't figure this puzzle out i really don't want them to you know pop a blood vessel you know or like you know again as we joked earlier about you know smashing their keyboard to bits because that's just not fun especially not for my first indie game I'm, I'm not trying to be that kind of develop you know that kind of indie dev so for me it was you know create a little escape route but it might change things with you know achievements or something like that but you know either way it's there you know and um you know for those who, are, who don't really care about being completionists you know just want to kind of get through it that's why that's why i have that so um yeah and, and, and it wasn't it wasn't difficult yeah you see right there so if you look right there there you go there you go that's one example you just get right through that and did you just see that thing that disappeared in a little black side of mist yes that is another one of the bosses you know in uh, in, in this game now the idea behind this is it, with episode one is this really just teases the bosses not so much having where it's not so much a boss battle with them that's where episode two comes into play because with episode two um, ooh, nice work, nice work. The idea behind episode two is now, you know, Envy's going to come face to face with who's been hunting it, and yeah, and it and it just becomes in your face, very personal, and it really ties into what you know my own personal lived experience, um, which got me into mental health and which got me into. Um, you know, which really got me into saying, okay, I got to keep telling the story. Um, but I think that's why even with the rele with releasing episode, the episode two trailer, I started with the trailer begins with me writing a letter to Envy, to my character, and really apologizing to it, saying, you know, I left, you know, I left you here in this darkness while I, because I was going through my own and you know and i called it out i called out the things that had happened and was unapologetic and it was my first opportunity to give myself that and um you know and so now there's this sort of now it, it's become this sort of alignment with both just my the, the story the, my my envy character and my own self as the creator so um you know, it, it's, it was never part of the plan, but it became the plan and I was okay with it. You know, it took me a while to be okay with it, but, you know, I am okay with it. And I'm, and I'm proud to have been able to say, yeah, it, it's my turn now to um, come back at this. So anyway, yeah, it's good stuff. So. <laughs> I appreciate the question. That's a good question. <laughs> no, I'm excited to, because I remember you talked to me about the trailer for episode two, and I love that whole story of the beginning of it, uh, like writing that letter to him, which is, you know, to him, to yourself, to the game. Right. Um, and I am like getting way too attached to this piece of paper. Like I, yeah. Nice. Yes, oh. we, are, we are now at the end and ultimately the ending, the goal with this. Oh, 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 the big. Here's one of the first twists. Another big twist. The radio. This is a test. Yes, Seven this is a test. Humanity, yep, listen to her. Hoping for a savior. I removed that savior. Banished into a distant horizon. A distant horizon where the rest of those who run from our cleansing will wither and die. Just like the shattered. Boom. Uh, and there's your story twist. So. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Always oh, the question. radios, man. Right. <laughs> That's right, right? Oh, here's one. If you had to change one thing based on the knowledge you had now with the game creation or marketing, what would it be? Um, I wouldn't have made it in Flash. <laughs> that would have been the first thing. I, I would have made it in Unity or something like that. 
Um, I, I think, uh... Was yeah, that as uh, common? Like, five years ago? Yes, Unity... To use? Unity, okay. Yeah, Unity was the go-to. Really was the go-to. Because, yeah, yes, there's Unreal. Unreal was always, you know, was always there. But <laughs> Unreal... There just wasn't against. as big of a community Seven for Unreal Kinetic. as there was Unity. Unity yeah. was really, really was. And then, of course, I, and it's not to discount like Game Maker, um, Construct, and things like that, but Unity was really the go to because Unity was like, because you know, it could be both 2D and 3D. And uh, so it was like, you know, really go there to do whichever kind of game you want oh. and. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I forgot no, how to no. do this puzzle. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, but I, I oh, okay. think... Okay, it just take it back to here. Yeah, it just like, goes right oh. back to that, yeah. But this is... So the... Oh, and here's a hint, by the way. I if forgot. you go... Well, don't worry about it. You just you just keep trying again. And if you die again, I'll show you what I was going to show you. <laughs> but anyway, so I think the other thing to... I want... I mean, the marketing was nice the mark you know the marketing was nice with like next to no resources um to do this but there was you know i mean i mean i would yeah i really would have liked to have had more i don't know i don't know i don't know I don't, and i shouldn't i'm overthinking it it's, it's, it's really a great question but i mean really the, so tough yeah. Like as one of those things for like what you would change because it's like horizon where the rest of those who I don't know. I feel like it's like what I would change. Like I would just like do it better. But like yeah, it, that's it, so it, vague. It, it 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 really is vague. It, you know, just doing it better. It could just yeah. There's so many ways to go about that. I mean, I I liked I really liked the limitation of Flash because it really tested my creative scaling of like okay what can we get away with what can't we get away with and um but again i'm i'm very pleased knowing we did this in flash i feel yeah. like this was the sort of you know very soft un you know unspoken um just kind of under the radar her last hurrah for flash um you know because it's like okay we're getting rid of flash but this is what look at what we were able to do in flash you know right, and, yeah, and again at this time 2017 <laughs> so oh my god what are you saying crumpled up hoping for a savior <laughs> oh, oh, no. okay so when you okay so when you burn and die here's your here's what's gonna happen i'm gonna show you this all right okay, stand by god. so all right so okay so take a look okay take a look at the platform okay take a look at the platform go back go back to the beginning and take a look at the platform and you'll see that oh. chalk mark there's a chalk mark oh. there that's that every time you die another section forms to give you a piece of the to, to give you a piece of the riddle the oh, that's cool yeah. there you go so do you have to just like keep <laughs> dying or like can he just like yeah he, like i like me knowing that, I would just be like, "All right, cool, die, die, die." Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Autumn's, Autumn's like, "Just keep dying. We believe in you." Well, of course, she's like, "OMG, yes, die again." And then I was just like, "That's rude." Right. right. Well, like now it doesn't feel so rude. I don't no, know. no, 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 I, no, I no, love not games that incorporate that. One of my favorite games I did with Game Game oh. Review was Persephone, and like the goal to beat the game, you just had to keep dying. And right, I, like, I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> truly, truly. Um, Which is terrible, okay. but like it, you don't feel no, so yeah. bad what for losing. Okay, go oh, back no. up. Here, I'm gonna help you. Yeah, go back up. Yeah, flick. Okay. So flick the uh, middle one. Oh. Yep, flick the middle one. Hopefully, you have time. So, okay, one more. One more. Uh oh. Let's see if we can. Look, one more. Okay, now go to the fourth one. Oop. Oh. Well. Okay, keep that there. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. Damn it with the with the stream delays. <laughs> it's all good. Humanity, hoping for a savior. 
Okay, so that. Are you so watching I, him on Discord or are you watching him on Twitch? I, w I was watching on Twitch because I can't. Oh wait, can I? Let me see if I can. Yeah, actually... yeah. Watch the stream from Discord. That'll help. I have to and die. Oh, he's so dramatic when he dies. <laughs> okay. No, All right, so Matt's, right. Matt's, Matt's using his ears. Mm -hmm. No worries. We got this. All right, keep going. All right, go ahead. I'm going to help you. Go. Go ahead. Go Go forward. I got you, bro. You already beat the game, so I can do this. All right, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> keep So keep that first one there. Keep okay. that first one there. Okay. Cut, yeah, uh, flip down that second one. Okay, keep that there. Now the third one. Here's the third one. Flip that down. Uh, one more. Into a uh, wait a minute. A what? Okay, wait. Run from our okay, cleansing. Yeah. Now I'm getting fucked. Okay, die. put that bot of the middle one one more time. Like the okay, go back to the second one. And connect, yeah, can, yeah, flick that down. Uh, one more. Yeah, oh my god, it's been forever. One more, one more time there. Help him. Right. No, help him! It's fine! This is why we have Gabe here! That's right! Okay, damn it! Okay, <laughs> go Okay. Go back to the- yeah, go back to the third one and flick it down. I, God, I can't believe this has been so long. Okay, go ahead, one more time. One more. Oh my god, really? Gabriel, come on, this is your- One more time. Okay. Okay, go to the fourth one. Flick that. Okay, now um, go to the last one. Oh, because I think the last one's fine. Yeah, the last one. The last one. Okay, go back to the fourth and flick that down again. Okay, one more. This is a test. Uh, one more. A test against this stubborn oh humanity. One more time. Sorry. Hoping for a savior. <laughs> yeah, flick that fourth one one more time. I removed that savior. Oh my god. Okay, Bash one more time. Sorry. What? What's that button on top? Right. So is that button? You need, yeah, you gotta light that button up. Okay, so go to... Alright. If you die, sorry. This one's on me this time. <laughs> so, but we're almost there. So, yeah, because it's that... Yeah. So, because I think... Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, but as you can see... Oh, there it is. It's all, it's all coming together now. You see that? So how it's all coming together? So now... All right, so now let's head. Let's keep heading forward now. Okay, so yeah, head on forward. Take a picture. Oh, here they... <laughs> I'm like, are you drawing this? I'm like, good for it, bro. <laughs> okay, so all right, so the first one, first one's good. First, uh, yeah, first one I think is good. Yeah, so flick the. Um, oh my god, go to the third one. Go to the third one and go down. Flick it down. Okay. Mm, we'll see. Go to the fourth one and go down for that. Um, okay, keep the fourth one like. Oh, for you really are. Actually, you know what? No. Okay, go now. Go to the last one. Bash into a distant horizon. Okay, flick down on the last one. Where the rest of one more. Who run from our cleansing will one more. wither and die. Oh shit! Okay, one more. Oh my god, we're so effing close. Alright, keep the alright, keep that last one as it is. Go back to the fourth one. Uh -huh. Flick that down. One more. Oh my god, really? Okay. Um Oh my heavens. Oh, this is buggy. Okay, keep the fourth that fourth one is good. Go back to the fifth one. Go back to the last one. Flick down. One more. Oh my god, really? Did I do it like this? Oh my god. Okay. What am I the is the object just to get the line to connect to go to all the way? You to the yep, all you're doing is connecting the one one circuit to turn the to turn the green light up top. So that's all you're that's all you're trying to do. You're trying to get that on. Oh my god, I can't believe this is bugging me. Okay. So like I'm trying to look at my own pictures now. So This is a test. Oh. Mm. Test against this oh, stubborn humanity. Okay. Yeah, I think like you were almost there. Uh, so had... it only has to be one line. That's... Okay, so now you see it's all connected now. So you see how that looks. <laughs> so take a picture of that. That's the full. That's the full solution. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry in a corner. So. <laughs> so. I mean, he was saying the game's difficult. I, so. I don't know how I, I mean... did this without knowing what that guy was doing i just connected it and i was like oh i got it yeah <laughs> there you go
So I, yes, I feel like the fir yeah, first one is good, the second one is good. You know what, you did. Stubborn <laughs> humanity, hoping for a savior. Mm -hmm. I removed that savior. Banished into a distant okay. horizon. A distant Go to the fourth horizon one. where the rest of those who run from our yes. cleansing will yeah. wither and die. Got it! Go! <gasps> Yo, Yo, you got it! Oh <laughs> Alright. Now, this the boss battle. So that wasn't even it. Nope. Oh. This is it. Do you remember what to do? Yeah. Sort of. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, the good news is you don't have to do the puzzle again. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay, you do see that thing that fell on the ground, right? Right. Hi. That, and, that, and so that's what the green flames are for. The green flames are your sort of your signal to go hide under there. But now you gotta move. So before it goes apart, now you have to hop back up and hit that green button again. So what's happening here? The boss battle is, is your environment. So the idea is, is that you need to keep going up until you see the exit sign, and then you've made it. You know, but you're gonna see this big thing of paper getting thrown. See that? Boom, that hits the red switch. Now it's going back down. So, and that's one of the boss characters that you can't see that's throwing that thing. And that's ultimately what you got to do here. So, oh, not yet. Almost. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're taking a big chance right now, dude. Oh, my God. Woo! Oh, oh. what? Bro. Uh, oh, my goodness. No, you can't. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, that was remarkable! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's great. That's really good, actually. I. That's. that's... Wait! No! Oh! No! <laughs> I was right there! <laughs> No, you gotta, you gotta get high enough to see the, the, the yellow exit sign. Okay. Oh, or the so yellow you arrow sign. Keep oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yep, you just gotta, you gotta make sure it keeps moving up. So, that's... I'm really surprised to see this. Even I didn't know... I didn't know it was that great, dude. That's really good. Wow, that's really... Very good. Very, very good. That's what, that's what I love. I love... So, game developers, game designers, test the shit out of your game, <laughs> because things like this, five years later, I had no idea that this was a thing. We need so. to just, like, have him be our resident game tester, Whoa! I feel like he always oh, finds stuff like right this. There. This is how I ended up being yeah. Oh, and this time was right there! Yep. The one thing I, 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 wa I want to point out as well to help with the, the urgency the of, of the level is I wanted to keep it, because I'm all into intense boss battle music, but because this wasn't a boss per se, but it was the environment, I needed to, the music was really important to keep it at this like sort of slow tempo, um, so to not add to the already crazy tension of this final section. Um, and it, and that was one of the hardest parts of this, uh, you know, of creating the music for this game is what kind of mood that I really want for this. So here we go, my man, my man. Now, now y'all get to see. Yeah, y'all get to see. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's different endings. Yeah. So yeah, there is. Um, yeah. So there's just two. En yeah. There's just two endings. Oh, so yes. No. So there's the regular one that you'll see now, um, and then yeah, and then if you didn't die, you don't get to it. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to stay a little quiet and keep my emotions together for this because I haven't seen this ending in a long time. Now, if you look closely in that vent, yeah, you're being you're being watched. It's by the bad one. One of them. <gasps> yeah, this ending's not polite. <laughs> Just the big old failure! Oh my god, I feel for him! So yeah, that woman on the radio, her name is Damayanti, and she is the cause of all of this. So, yeah. somebody running in the back there yep Does episode two take place after that, or does it take place after the good ending? The the episode two takes takes place right in that spot, okay. right in that spot. It will start right where it where he you know where it passed out, and it's gonna it's gonna start there. So, um, <laughs> well, hey, at least you you died less. I died less, but it time. took longer. <laughs> I mean, we were talking during it. I feel right? like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that accounts for something. For, no, a, a, absolutely, and um, yeah, and so it's going to take place. Oh, I see Autumn's question. When you have more yeah. projects, do you plan on sneaking in a tribute nod to your little one and showing him when he's? Oh, absolutely! Oh my goodness, episode. It's yeah. I I, I can't say much yet, but episode. Oh yeah, episode two. Oh my god, so much is going to happen. <laughs> I was doing so numbers too. So th this came out before the kiddo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well yeah, well before, yeah, yeah. My, yeah, my, my kid. He's gonna be five in March, but he he arrived. Um, yeah, he arrived um, March of 2018, and I released the. I and I and episode one came out um, several months before. So, um, so I knew he. I knew he was on the way. So yeah, yeah. So. Um, yeah, so there you have it. And so, um, what are what are the thoughts on the ending? Because I know because I know um, I when when Matt told me he beat it, I was like, oh, what do you think? And I'm like, Dine but and he, you know, I was like, you know what? You're gonna save it for next time when when we actually do the stream. So I'd love to hear thoughts. I'm emotional. I yeah. feel for this little piece of paper and I'm like, no, I don't I don't want him to have a little failure thing. And it's like 
he goes from escaping all this stuff that's on fire just into a dark room filled with smoke. So, like, Mm -hmm. how much better is that, you know? Precisely. I'm just like, he worked so hard. Like, I don't want to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. It motivates me to get the perfect ending. (laughs) That's like, let's go. (laughs) I just know it'd probably take probably about maybe 20 attempts but it's achievable you know what we gotta do that on our um one of our like 24 hour streams or something just like keep doing that until you get the perfect endings yeah you have to speed run it and memorize everything um, yeah you memorize it yeah. then you can but even then it's just rng if you hit the wrong thing you're gonna die yeah, <laughs> yeah. right right yeah oh that gosh. was um i really pre- i really appreciate that um it's yeah the the yeah the per yeah seeing that again and see and it 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 really it both hurt my heart but also um replenished my heart to see to remember where i was then but to (laughs) see how far i've come since and in episode two it's episode two is really you know and episode three because there's going to be three episodes but it, you know, episode two is really the reckoning. Now it's going to be a reckoning, both for myself personally, which I think I, you know, which I started in again with the trailer um, of episode two, and um, yeah, and then and then you know uh, go from there. But the the great thing is is that as being the that writer, that narrative designer, I know what's going to happen and yeah holy crap y- y'all are not ready y'all are not oh my god y'all are not ready <laughs> oh what's gonna god. happen or what you know yeah um yeah it whew. oh god yeah 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 so i'm yeah, so yeah. excited so you, for you got to see the you know tease of the different of the three bosses so you know you saw the rock boss which its name is xenolith you got to see the paper boss which his name is medium and then you got to see at the very, very end the scissor boss. So yes, rock paper scissor alien. Oh my versions, gosh! Ali- yeah, <laughs> alien versions of rock paper scissors are your bosses. And the third, that third and final one, which um, the scissor one, its name is Fade, and that um, that will that one, the scissor one, is the that's the biggest one, the most feared one is that one so yep 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 yep. and if you watch the trailer if you watch the trailer for episode two you uh, you will actually see a hint episode two trailer al it is is it on your youtube Mm -hmm. would we like to watch that yeah we can we yeah we absolutely can absolutely can um absolutely a little sneak peek at what's gonna happen next you know absolutely it's a. I will give a heads up. It's a little. It's a little longer than the trailer norms that they say, but again, with with how personal this was, and with the fact that this, I didn't think for most for the past few years that this was never going to get done, and I didn't think I was worthy of continuing the story. Um, I owed it to myself to tell this unedited unapologetically you know and it's like and and all i ask for those who watch this is patience because it's slow going but i promise you it's gonna hit but you 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 just gotta just get through these things because it's not just the letter it's you know it's me you know because as you all as you all may have noticed it was i was nascent games but then I got rid of Nassen Games I, and I turned turned it into November Rain. And it was all part of that rebirth, if you will, regarding um, what part of my, you know, what what of my past that I want to hold on to or what did I want to burn away? So I just went Burning Man style and I said, that's it. You know, uh, this will always have an impact. But yeah, so pop on that, pop right. on that trailer. Now that I've said that, pop on that trailer and you'll get to see you'll get i'm just like instead of just talking about it i'm like i want to live it now i want to know what happens i'm mm -hmm. yep i so 
I want my little envelope to ex succeed in life. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. There you go. Oh, God, I'm already getting goosebumps. Jesus. Your voice away. I devoured your identity. And all you did was scream for forgiveness, wishing for me to stop. Somehow, you're still alive. It won't matter. I will disintegrate the remnants of your existence. You are a coward, a reject, and I will forever own that piece of your innocence. Now, I return the favor. Shattered or dead. You will never find her, my dear Envy. There you go. That was like so much intensity. I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every oh, computer in your house, you your mom's, your dad's, your sister, he your brother's computer. He, always, he has a challenge for everything. <laughs> so the challenge, huh? Anyway. Click out of the screen. Yeah, yeah, here's a challenge. Hold on to your money. 
So stop giving it all away. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so thank you for that. And so yes, so that's that's what's coming soon enough. So that's what's coming soon enough. But yeah, that um, you know that trailer was extremely important to me, and and I couldn't I, I I there was no room for me to apologize for how long it was. It's like yeah, it's a four minute thing, but there's no way there's no way I could leave those those parts out. Otherwise, it just wouldn't be complete. It wouldn't make sense. That's what and, you need um, sometimes. Yeah, you know, and it was you know, and again, it, for me, it was you know, I, I'm going to, it was my time for reckoning, my time for retribution. And it's like, that's it. This is it. If we're going to do this, we got to strike hard. The message, the message has to hit really hard. And so, you know, I, I'm very confident that I did that. Um, and with the understanding that it's, it's, you know, not everyone's going to take the time to watch it and that's okay. You know, those who do, you know, to me tells me that there, there's, there's Karen. So, yeah. yeah, I think so. that's just part of like knowing the genre of the game that you're going into, per se, and like knowing that you have a story to tell that, you know, taking those four minutes to kind of bridge that gap between the story really helps. And especially if that's not included in like part of the game, I feel like that is a super important like piece of the puzzle for it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like I my big game is Final Fantasy. Like, I'm very used to, I they have long it, yeah. trailers for things. Like, and I'm used to having, like, those little bits and pieces that I'm looking forward to and, like, being able to, like, rewatch things and, like, get those emotions. And, you know, I feel like, especially something that's a sequel to a little Flash game, like, that does a pretty good job at competing with that. Like, it's, yeah, you know, you're yeah. really getting the story in there as much as you can. I, would like sat there and i had a moment I, I wrote it in the chat but like i needed a second for it it was like once it was like you know oh like for like my son and i was like oh like for the son and the one he loves and like he's going through hell and i'm like oh my god this little envelope he's just trying to live but he's got all these things going on yeah, yeah i'm i'm really happy you caught i'm really happy you got you got that that and that was yeah. that was the that was part of all that undoing like this wasn't going to be removing one little layer at a time like an onion this was really like no i'm burning this shit and this is how we're going to do it because you know you know it you know it, it it just when when you get knocked down you and you pick yourself back up you, you it, it's not it, it's how you pick yourself back up and for me it was you know again i deserve better than this but if and again if i'm going to do this how do i strike how do i strike in this message with you know with you know and turn the rage into something fruitful and powerful and and this this was my way to do that and that's why the hope is as i continue this that others will see that and and come to the understanding and acceptance that they are worth that power in them just like i was with in mine after being told by people who claim to care that i wasn't that i didn't deserve that 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 wasn't me this was my time to say no my turn so i grabbed trauma by the throat and said you're my sidekick now. You don't get to have the last word. You're with me now. You don't get to decide or dictate what what I do and say next. And this was that. The, the episode two is going to be that, and much more. You know, but but still, but but making sure I don't forget to have fun with it. Make it, you know, make it intense. But it's it's gonna hit hard. You know, and as you you know, with all the craziness, you you may have seen um that yeah i it, you know the trailer also introduces a new gameplay element the 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 stick and move so it latched on to a little post it note and and it got to so it's ultimately i took the the wall jump concept and said i want to have that but it's a piece you know it's an envelope it's a paper you know how do i justify the wall jump and i said sticky note boom ah. and so that's a new that's going to be a new gameplay element 
you know, addition for episode two going forward. So yeah. What are you making episode two on? Because I'm assuming it's not a flash game unless you're doing no. another flash game. Okay, I was no. gonna say in, no. in the year of our Lord 2022. I don't know who's It'll... trying to make flash game. Yeah, no, no, to- no, completely. <laughs> um, it's either I, it's either gonna be in Unity or Godot. So we'll see. So cool. we'll see. We'll see which one. Very so. exciting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it looks mm-hmm. more action packed, so. so I'm stoked for that too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Was, it looks like the it's like the like climax of the story where it's like, all right, you have your like opening, and now you're like, oh my god, what's gonna happen to my envelope? And now everything's happening to the envelope. I will. I, I'm, to the I'm happy you said that. I will say this: where that takes place, that scene in the trailer, that takes place shortly after it starts. Now, how you get there, you'll see it at the beginning. And then, but but that so it will starts be with that much slightly after it starts. Okay, but there's still things before it, and then yeah, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> I want to. I feel think. like I need to actually try to physically play it, although it looks very difficult. Like seeing how much Matt struggled, I feel like I would just like I understand. cry. Cry both from emotions and then cry from difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I can. I completely understand. So, but yeah, no. I, I. I hope you do. But at least you got to experience, and that was one of the you know most important things for me with 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 this game. With any with any game I'm, I want to make that, that I'm making is I want to make the games I make intense, interesting, thought provoking, and but still entertaining enough. For both the player and the mm-hmm. viewer who are just like, I don't know if I'll ever play a game like this, but damn, I want to keep watching to find out what mm-hmm. what happens next. That's what I want. And if I can pull that off, excellent. Because either way, they're gonna talk about the game. And that's all that that's what that's what I would like to have. Like, you gotta play this thing. You gotta watch this thing. Holy crap. The story that's said in here. You know, so yeah, that that's what that's my hope. For 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 the so, I love it. Yeah. Well, not... we got one more. If you want us to play Mahalia, you yeah. Let's you let's let's end let's end it let's end it with that. So let's let's end it with that, and we'll uh yeah. um yeah. Could could, could tease uh could tease the announcement trailer for the Project Mahalia Some game. Of your other and, stuff with yeah. the billions of things that you were doing, you. Yep. Crazy yes. human being, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So here we go. Much shorter trailer, by the way. it i remember looking at this trailer and i don't know if it was somebody else that even showed me it but mm-hmm. i yeah i figure it's gonna yep. be spooky that is i like yeah <laughs> i and like especially now that you told us that like there's some recurring characters raised right? between your other story and mahalia yep. i was like yep. looking at the little pieces of paper and i'm like okay is there anything on this and i was like more like i'm just trying to find something like right. piece it together for me so I get it looks it. very I get excited it. thank you so yeah so yeah more to come on that so there you go i gotta thank you all for this seriously yeah. as, as, as hungry as i am because I'm, I'm super i've been like think super <laughs> hungry right for dinner this has been just fantastic i really really i'm just so grateful and i hope those who watched you know really enjoyed it as well um you know, if there are any questions that come up after 
the stream, you know, hit me up on my website, um, you know, or or even better yet, you know, throw a comment up on on my YouTube channel in one of the trailers. Um, would love to hear, you know, comments, thoughts, feedback. Um, yeah, you know, just constructive is all I ask. You know, constructive. You know, I'm I'm all for having open conversation and open to ideas because as much as I do, I don't know anything, but I will not have someone insult my intelligence over you know and try to or you know or try to speak for me when it comes to the story i'm trying to tell um you know in in a negative way um because i'm because i'm going to tell y'all now there are a lot of people like me going through this and more and don't have half the strength an eighth of the strength that i do to speak out there are a lot of us feeling this way in different degrees. We need to give credence and mindfulness to those because we're all going through something like that. So, you have a ton of strength to like come out and make a game and do all you do with the podcast and stuff like that. Like truly, I know uh, when Puppet and I did like our um, Ill, like health illnesses and gaming panel at MagWest, it was something where it was like, oh my God, this is so hard to talk about. And that's like, an hour long panel and only a little bit of it was talking about like our like mental like illnesses and like our struggles with that. I can't imagine how much strength it would take to pour all that into a game and still take like criticism and feedback and, you know, keep going with that and then keep having a podcast on those things and talking about it and talking to other people about it. And like, I would ask you questions about it. Like, it is just, yeah, if you have never been through something like that, it takes an amazing strength to come out of that tunnel and especially to come out of that tunnel into so much light and opportunity, which I feel like you have definitely taken with you. I really appreciate that. Yeah. I really, really appreciate that. And I made it, I made it from the bottom of my heart. I know you do. And I'm grateful, very, very grateful for that seriously you guys are excellent that's why we need this so seriously um god what a great way to end this i'm gonna definitely celebrate <laughs> with something very fatty and don't care yeah i was just thinking i was like maybe like because it's 10 45 here uh oh, right, right, right. time yeah i was like i wonder <laughs> if it's like Late enough that the like Domino's would be closed. Like maybe I can get a pizza after this. Domino, Domino's, I Domino's, they're hardcore. They're open to like midnight, one at one a.m. on like a yeah. Wednesday. So I was like, so, all right, oh yeah. Apparently, there's a McDonald's by me that closes at like eleven. <laughs> Jeez. I'm like, okay, but right, well, whatever works. You know, but no. it's like... <laughs> however you celebrate. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you all seriously so much for this and and oh, matt yeah. and matt really thank you for taking the time not to ju not only to just get the game um but to but to take the time to experience the you know what what i did um like yeah seriously that that means an incredible amount to me to to see you it made the effort and invested in the time to to do that and then do it again here yeah. um you gave me you you guys gave me the opportunity to make to not just share my story but 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 put value in 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 my story and keep that up for the others because there are so many others who need it keep this up truly thanks gabe you yeah. got it and thank you matt for coordinating so much of this like oh my god if matt is somebody that's been hunting you down for things like he is a <laughs> rock star with that which i think we speaking of ish we do I think i'm supposed to be plugging something week. here yes. yeah um, we do have an interview next week it's going to be pretty early uh we'll release the date on it but it's going to be East Coast time, so we'll have to do it 8.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific time to be able to meet up with their time frame. And it's going to be with that Mimetic Studios. That means I Studios. get the interview. Yep. And it's going to be <laughs> One Last Breath. So One Last Breath uh, actually 
did quite well over at Gamescom, and they won Best Indie Game at Gamescom. And that's a pretty big achievement. So we have a wider range, and I'm, we're glad to hear everyone's story. It's yeah. Wonderful. wonderful. And wow. what are we this weekend? Saturday? Saturday. We're doing a stream for Extra Life, too. So charity fundraising for Seattle Children's. Good fund. Good fund. Interview. Yeah. All podcasts coming up. Possibly eating greasy food like Gabe wants to. Like, you <laughs> stuff. There's just good stuff coming up in the universe. Beautiful. I don't I don't know. I don't think Mercury's in retrograde anymore, so you know. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Thank Whatever you that all. means for us. <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. Thank, Thank you, you all again so for much. coming. And I'm I'm out of here. Thank you everyone for the support. Really grateful. And um I'm off to go get some food and drink. So yes. Y'all have a lovely evening and be a lighthouse for one another. And just be patient enough to know that they may not swim your way immediately, but keep that light on for them so you could be ready to be the support for them that they need. That is my last kicker. Much love. Thank you, Gabe. I love that. We'll be talking to you We're soon. We're gonna You got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, my dear nerds. Cheers. Cheers. Then I I think we better leave it on that. Yep, I don't I don't think we can have that. a better ending than that. Yeah. Have a good evening. <laughs>